what's up, my little town tells you. Come in, sit down, shut the blinds, and make sure you have some. Ugh, don't eat anything because this is going to turn your stomach. Oh my God. Listen. I, so, I did a video yesterday about Rob and Chloe's close relationship. And there's audio and videos, everything about the creepy relationship they have. A lot of people are like, oh my God, you're reaching. That's just what brothers and sisters do. To which I say, I'm calling child social services on your house because I, I don't know one brother or sister that does that mess. But you guys, it gets even weirder and creepier. A lot of you guys pointed out that Scott has this weird flirtation with Chloe. We've seen it through the years. We know that. But guess what? Thank you so much, Tigeria, for sending me this link. Also, if any of you Tattletales want to send me any stories, any leads, you can always DM me on Insta or you can hit me up on tisatales at gmail.com. That's also if you have any opportunities for me too. Tisatales at gmail.com with one S, tisatales. Instagram, Tisa Tells with two S's. All right, now let's get into it. Tigeria, thank you so much for sending this because guys, 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 guys. I'll just get into it. Scott confessed in rehab. He slept with her sisters. This was literally on the cover of Life and Style, November 12th, 2015. It was on the cover of Life and Style, November 12th of 2015. Scott brags about sleeping with Kylie Jenner and Khloe Kardashian. Rehab sponsors insist he tell Khloe, Courtney Kardashian. Now again, this is Life and Style. It is a tabloid, but Life and Style is not the National Enquirer. They you know, sometimes play around with the truth. They don't play this hard and fast. And I would also like to say that honestly, they don't play this hard and fast. And honestly, I'll be honest with you. They have not gotten any lawsuits. I don't even think the Kardashians made them. This was on the cover. The Kardashians did not even make them. Oh my God, you guys, this is horrible. Let's get into these reports because, ah. Uh, Scott Disick confessed to cheating on Kourtney Kardashian and having relations with both of her sisters, Kylie Jenner and Khloe Kardashian, according to the, the 2015, I think it was the week of November 12th, week's cover of Life and Style magazine. Rumors have popped up on more than one occasion that Scott has hooked up with all the Courtney, all of Courtney's sisters at one point or another, except for Kim. And apparently it was Scott himself who started them. Scott is currently in rehab where he checked himself in post Lamar Odom overdose. This is the longest that Scott has ever stayed in one rehab facility. And according to his fellow substance abusers, he's been singing like a canary at the treatment center and bragging about all his past transgressions to anyone who will listen. According to Life and Style Insiders, Scott has bragged about having relations with both Khloe Kardashian and Kylie Jenner behind Courtney's back. Apparently, Scott told his pals that he and Kylie had a drunken night of re hot relations in early 2015. And in 2014, Scott bragged that he had relations with Chloe in a Hamptons hotel shower. What in the world? Listen, if this is a lie, this is a very detailed lie. I don't know why a Hamptons hotel shower to me it's like, it's like mm, maybe you're telling the truth, but let's get into some more, right? It's not over. Now that Scott is in rehab, his sponsors are urging him to come clean to Courtney about everything so that he can close the chapter and finally move on with his life. Life and Style Magazine's insider dished for his treatment to be successful, Scott has to confess all of his betrayal. Scott needs to tell Courtney everything. It's the only way for him to move on. Scott's sponsors want him to come clean, but is there really anything to come clean about? I know the sponsors are like, Scott, come clean, become one with who you are. And Scott is like, you must be out of your mind. That's the funny thing. Can you imagine Courtney? Because there's the thing, everybody's saying in this article, there's more, I'm going to get to it, that Courtney doesn't know anything about it. So can you imagine your man sitting down and be like, my love, in order for me to move forward in this relationship and our relationship with my life, I must come clean. 
I slept with Chloe. And Courtney's like, this is Courtney eating a salad. What? You slept with Chloe? Cause you know, Courtney, when she gets enraged or mad, her and she actually deads her emotions, right? That's her, I think that's her coping mechanism. She doesn't get amped up like I do. She deads her emotion. And Scott said, yeah, and Kylie too. But here's my question. He said this in 2015. How old was Kylie Jenner in 2015? Let's do a Google search on this. Cause if this is true, hold on. How old, how old was Kylie Jenner? Oh wait, in 2014. Cause they said the year before in 2014, Kylie Jenner, when they're alleging that this happened was 17 years old. Now I do want to say this. Scott has a history of dating younger women. He dated Sophia Richard, Richie. They came out, I believe, when she was 18. Sophia look, Richie looked like she was 14 from the time. She still looks like she's 16. She's now starting to grow with, into a woman, but she still looks like she's 16. This article is a mm, Anyway, let's get into this, right? Maybe they got the dates wrong. Right. Maybe they got them wrong by a year. But this was printed in 2015, and they said the year. Oh, I'm sorry. They said in early 2015. Okay, I take that back. So if they say it happened early, okay, so then she was legal. Okay, 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 okay. Wow, Scott has, allegedly, Scott has some morals. You waited until she was legal. Okay, all right, let's get into this some more, right? We have no doubt that Scott might have bagged to people during one of his binges that he slept with half of Courtney's family. But we're not buying it. This is what Life and Style is stating. Scott is a total narcissist. He probably would cheat with one of Court's sisters if he had the chance. But would Chloe and Courtney really hook up with Scott? They have saw this man so drunk that he was vomiting and drooling on himself. There is nothing attractive about that. They could they could have picked they could have their pick of the hottest celebs and athletes in Hollywood. And they're not going to just hop into a bed or a shower with their sister's sloppy baby daddy. But what do you guys think? Is there any chance Scott really hooked up with Courtney's sisters? Do you think he made the stories up to try and score some cool points? Y'all, what y'all think? Listen, there is a plethora, plethora of evidence of Scott being creepy with Chloe. There's some plethora of evidence of Chloe being creepy with Rob. I don't know what was going on. I'm actually gonna do a deep dive into Chris Jenner's past because honestly, it seems to me that Chris raised those, and again, this is from the outside looking at my opinion, right? Chris raised those girls to in the arts of seduction, if that makes any sense. And any man, they think the way to relate to any man is not through the brain up here. They think that's a way to relate to any man. It seems like even Chloe, sometimes clean up they even relate to their brother in that way i don't know it's all very odd it's all very strange but you guys listen i just want to cover a lot life and style i don't make this stuff up i just report the news let me know what you think in the comments and think about your history of keeping up with the kardashians and how they actually did make storylines out of this creepy mess yo the 2000s was a wild time that we literally saw all this stuff going on on tv and we were like hmm amusing yo the 2000s was a wild wild time y'all let me know what you think in the comments and i'll talk to you later okay